Last year for Christmas I made a friend a big bold chunky necklace. It was orange and navy blue and this year I'm going to make her a pair of earrings that match. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before my name's Carol and on this channel I show you how easy it is to make your own jewellery. So I'm going to take you step by step through the process of making these earrings and I'm going to show you everything that you need to make them as well. Normally when you make a piece of jewellery you have a star of the show. It can be a focal bead, maybe it's a pendant, maybe it's just beads that are dotted along the necklace or the bracelet that really take the attention. Well in this case I have three stars. I'm going to show you those now. So what I've got here is some beautiful Indian lampwork beads. I have these gorgeous hearts. Aren't they just stunning? They're 18 millimetres so they're quite large and they're in the colour paprika. So I have two of those. I have two of these 10 millimeter Indian glass lampwork beads. They are a cube in navy blue. And I also have these beautiful 18 by six teardrops, also Indian glass. So those are my three stars. As well as that, I have got some five by three millimeter rondelles here. These are Tibetan silver. I have two head pins five centimeters long. I've got a pair of ear hooks in silver and I have some 20 gauge wire. In terms of tools, I am going to be using two pairs of chain nose pliers. I'm going to be using a pair of round nose pliers and I'm also going to be using some flush cutters. And I think I'm going to also use my one step looper to make the loops because it makes it nice and easy and quick. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the teardrop and I'm going to make a dangle for the bottom of the earrings. So I'm going to take my head pin and I'm going to feed on one of my rondelles and my teardrop and then another rondelle. Just like that. Now I'm going to make a wire wrapped loop at the top. Now if you haven't made a wire wrap loop before I will leave a link in the description box below for a video that I did on uh, that I made on how to do a wire wrapped loop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to make a bend in the wire just about two millimeters above the, the top of that bead. And the reason I'm leaving a little space is so that I have some room for my wire to be wrapped around. Now it's not a very big space, so that's what I have. And now what I'm going to do is take my round nose pliers and make a loop. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of tucking my pliers as close as I can into the corner of my bend there. And I'm going to, I've got the wire facing me, the end, and I'm going to push the wire away from me and around the loop or the jaw of the round nose pliers like that. Now I'm going to remove the pliers and put them back in on the bottom jaw and then I'm going to pull that wire all the way around so that it's like that at a right angle to the wire coming out of the earring. Now I'm going to take my two pairs of chain nose pliers and I'm going to make a wrap. So I'm going to hold the loop that I just made in the jaws of the pliers and I'm going to take my other pair of pliers and I'm going to wrap that around. Doesn't matter if it's not too neat. Your aim is to lie the wires side by side but honestly it doesn't matter. So that's what I have now and you can see that I have a tail so I'm going to take my flush cutters and cut off that tail as close as I can. Now when you're cutting with your flush cutters always cover it so that it doesn't fly away. Now I've got a little bit of wire still sticking out so I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and push it down. Kind of just 
tucking it around in the direction that it was going. And it might take you a few tries to do this. Just push and move your pliers around and around until you get it nicely tucked in. And what you want to do is run your finger over it to make sure it's not sticking out. So that's what I have now. And now I'm going to make a piece to attach to my dangle and I'm going to do that with my wire. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my wire in half actually. I just want a, a good piece to work with. So I've got about 10 centimeters there and I'm going to take my one step looper and I'm going to make a loop in the end. If you haven't used the one step loop before, I can leave a link in the description box for a video all about how to use it as well. Right, I'm just uh, closing up that loop, just making sure it's closed nicely. Now what I'm going to do is thread on a rondelle and my square bead, another rondelle and my heart, making sure I get it up the right way. I want the top of the heart to be at the top. And one last rondelle. Okay, now I'm going to just make a loop in the top. And just closing it up. Make sure it's nicely closed. Alright. Now what I want to do is I want to take my other pair of pliers and just make sure that those, loop, those uh, loops are both going the same way. So just giving them a bit of a wiggle so that they're both facing the same way. So that's what I have now. Now I'm going to attach this to this. I'm going to do that by opening my loop at the bottom, which is the one next to the square or the cube. Now I'm just going to hold the earring component in my left hand and holding the side of the loop there in my pliers I'm going to just rotate up. Pop on that dangle and just reverse that process to close it. And just double check that it's all nicely closed which it is. So that's what I have now and the only thing left to do is attach my ear wire. So I'm going to take the ear wire, hold it between my thumb and my finger and I'm going to hold the loop on the side that opens, which is the inside, and do exactly the same thing, just rotate up, pop it on, and close it. And there's my earring. That was nice and quick and it's a really cool funky earring and it's nice and big and chunky which is what my friend enjoys. So now I'm just going to make another one. So there's my earrings all finished, nice and quick and easy. But one thing I am going to do before I finish up is I'm going to just double check that all of my loops are closed. So there you go, a pair of Indian glass hearts and teardrops earrings. What's not to love about hearts and teardrops, right? I hope my friend likes them as much as I do. If you enjoyed this video, it would be really great if you would subscribe to my channel. That way I can continue to bring you more great jewellery making projects. Also, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Sometimes we run competitions on Facebook and it's always great to keep in touch and keep up to date. If you're interested in making the necklace I'm wearing today, then I will leave a link in the description box for the tutorial for this one. My bracelet is just a memory wire bracelet I made years ago, but if you want to make a memory wire bracelet, there's plenty of tutorials on our website for you to do that. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.